comes to cleaning stairs, there's one right way and there's many wrong ways. Now, why do I say that? Well, with the advent of the internet, there's a lot of misinformation out there of how to clean carpets, especially on stairs, improperly. What does this do? This ends up getting unsatisfied customers. You don't get the repeats. You don't get the referrals that you deserve. So what I'm going to do is take a little time today and show you in video form exactly how to clean stairs properly. Now, there might be some variances you might do or other cleaners might do, and there's nothing wrong with that. The main important thing is to make sure that the stairs are completely clean. Why do I say that? Well, recently I had a client give me a call. She just had her carpets cleaned a few days before, and she said it was putting up a pungent odor. Well, when I got out there, I noticed that the stairs were still wet. The rest of the house looked pretty good, and mind you, this was a million-dollar home. The rest of the house looked pretty decent, like I said, but the stairs were still wet. They put off a bad smell, and they were very dull looking. This was not a positive moment of truth. And this cleaner ended up losing this great client to me because I took the time to re the whole home and especially paid very close attention to the stairs. Let me show you how I cleaned those stairs and made that customer happy. Okay, to get started, the first thing I do is I take the time and I pre back the stairs. My weapon of choice of that is just the claw tool. Hook it up to my truck mount and I go to town. I like to vacuum the top of the tread, the riser, the bullnose some, and the side caps. That's really important. Then I'll take the time and I'll pre-spray it well. Now, if you don't know how to pre-spray by now, more than likely you should go ahead and maybe take a class or pick up my DVD ride along, which goes into customer service as well as in-depth cleaning of the whole entire home. All right, now you go ahead and pre-spray and pay special attention to your edges because, you know, your edges many times have the filtration lines from the dust from your heating and air conditioning system that builds up and gives it an unsightly look. And what I'll do is keep some filtration line remover on the truck and also keep a tamping brush. And what I'll do is after I put it along the edges, I'll take and rub it in real good. It's very important to pre-agitate any carpets or any furniture that you clean. All right, now for the rest of the carpet on the stairs, I'll go ahead and just pick up my horsehair brush and I'll rub the top of the treads with it. I'll pay special attention to the bull nose, really important. Those really get skipped and get cleaned improperly many times. And then I'll hit the risers also, and I'll go ahead and hit the side caps if there are any inside the home. All right, now what I'm going to do is going to show you all the wrong ways to clean, which is only a few of them. I'm going to show you how to clean them wrong, and then I'm going to show you how to clean it right. So take a look. All right, now the worst way to clean stairs is with the upright wand for several reasons. Number one is it's too long and it's too awkward. And what happens is you end up getting the tilt of the head wrong and it doesn't meet the carpet interface properly and you end up losing a lot of vacuum. Number two is it floods the bulldoze, which you're going to see in a little short second here, short second video. Also, what it'll do is you can't dry the bulldoze properly. So you can't even clean the, the risers properly and you sure can't clean the side caps. So I recommend highly not ever using your upright unless your furniture still breaks or you leave it behind somewhere. And if you're going to do that, watch this little follow-up video that I have where I show you I take the hose and after I clean with the upright wand is I'll take and vacuum the bulldoze real well and then I'll take a towel and dry it and clean it a little bit extra. Let's so take a look. A lot of dirt left. You want to leave that behind because those risers will look terrible 
on the top of where the bulldozer is after a couple of days. It might look all right when you first clean it. Come back like a week or two later, and you'll see them all browned out and look horrible. The customer sees that every time she walks up the stairs. That's not what you want her to see. You want her to see bright, shiny stairs. You want to rent them well. Now, let's take a look at a second long way to clean stairs. Now, here we have a tool that's actually made for stairs. The problem is it's too long. What do I mean by that? Well, you run the same problem as you run into with the upright. You really can't clean the bulldozer properly. You might be able to clean it a little bit better than with the upright, but you can't vacuum it as well. So if you're going to use a long one, use the same method I just showed you by taking the hose in, going along the bulldoze, and then towel it. This is a lot of extra work. That's why I have a tool of preference, which I'm going to show you after this. We'll take a look how this one works. Another towel, you have to plug it over the edge. Let's face it, the edge is where it's dirty. Now, granted, it takes a lot of pressure off your back. And I know that's important for a lot of people. But look, I'm 52 years old. If I can use a short tool, which is harder on the back, so can you. Same problem here again, turning it upside down. That's why I'm not crazy about swivel units either. But you can do a better job than you can with the upright. No doubt, but still, I'm missing this bull nose. Very important to make sure you take care of that. I can try to cut the wand like I'm going to do My tool of choice, but watch what happens. I can't get my fingers crossed the whole front line. Finally, here's my tool of choice. It's a six-inch stair tool with a front lip glide on it to help it move the front each other across. This is the bull unit that has a ton of vacuum. So it really sticks to the carpet and short hard on your back, especially towards the end of the day. I found a lip in the front works perfectly made a tough line. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate exactly how this unit is used to take a close look. Also, lastly, I like to wear ear protection with it because this unit really gets loud, especially if you've got a good strong truck mount. change angles and show you how I utilize the too clean, too dry method just like I do throughout the rest of the house. And I'll go ahead and mist the riser and then I'll dry it. Now if the riser is very soiled, I'll go ahead and clean that in the same manner also. And I'm always paying very special close attention to the bull nose. It's really important. Get that clean as possible. The last thing you want to do is the stairs really look great and then the bull nose looks terrible a couple of days later because you didn't get it clean and dry as possible. Now, when I go to vacuum the bulldoze, what I'll do is I'll take my finger and put it halfway across the lip to dry it just like that. That makes a big difference because if you just put it on the edge of the stair like this and try to dry it, you're not going to dry that stair properly. You're hardly getting any vacuum whatsoever and you're going to have the same problems I mentioned earlier. Now, I do like to use the high flow jet. I think that's really important. I like to really flush that soil out of there. Stairs are very concentrated traffic patterns and they catch a lot of dirt as you walk up and down. All right, now go ahead and take a look.
I'm finished. I'm going to go ahead and set my air mover and get the stairs dry. I like to place an air mover for a couple of reasons. Number one is I want the carpets to dry fast, the customers are more satisfied. But number two, more importantly, is liability. The last thing you want, especially when stairs are located near some hardwood floors or maybe some tiles that come down the stairs, bam, hit that and slip and fall. Even though you warned them, there's still a lot of liability involved. So get your stairs dry as fast as possible. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tip by Truck Mount Forums. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and link you over to a video where my son Trey is actually cleaning a set of stairs the way that I showed him that we started 25 or 28 years ago, actually now. And uh, I'd like to mention to you also, please stop in the Truck Mount Forums. My son started Truck Mount Forums a few years back. And it was only him and I, and now there's over 50,000 carpet cleaners that visit there every month and share ideas just like this. This is Rob Allen with Truck Mount Forums. Have a great day.